Hey guys, time for a quick story. Just sitting here. Oh, darn it. Sitting here uh, doing this and uh, just thought about this and just a story I was supposed to tell. When uh, we were working in a uh, in a juvenile detention center, met a uh, met a couple of interesting fellows, and one guy was a uh, uh, he was a sheriff in a real small town down in Texas. Well, the kids love it. And. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah. Anyway, so one of the guys was a uh, sheriff from a small town in Texas. And this guy proceeds to, you know, we were standing around telling stories, you know. And uh, he goes, oh man, I got one for you guys. He says, uh, we get a call about a... Uh, abandoned car in a parking lot okay so he said it's just like two in the morning get out there you know it's it's hot and humid it's texas whatever right and um they get out there and sure enough there's a car in the parking lot and the windows are all fogged up and things of that nature so all right you know foggy windows you know kids found a parking lot that kind of thing right <clears throat> so, you know, him and his partner, you know, they kind of cracking jokes and stuff like that, you know, and walk up to the car real quiet and uh, knock on the window, you know, and they expect the kids to jump up and, you know, oh my God, oh, excuse me, officer, you know, but that didn't happen. So, you know, put the flashlights into the foggy window and sure enough, they see you know, male laid back in the driver's side. And on the passenger side, you know, there's a female slumped over the male, you know, head over the male's midsection. Okay. Now you can see what's going on here. So, my part of this, so the uh, guy that I'm working with, let's just call him Ted. It's the first name that comes to mind. Ted notices that the male has got blood in his lap. Right? So, it's like, okay, well, now, now, now we have a problem. You know, so Ted takes his flashlight and he's kind of knocking on the window, try to get the guy's attention. You know, of course, the guy doesn't come to, and the female is just there. So, now there's blood. There's two unconscious, you know, people inside of a vehicle. So, you know, now they have to find out what the hell is going on, right? So... If you ever try to break a window out on a vehicle, you know it's not easy. So, you know, they get their little nightstick and they beating on the window, beating on the window, beating on the window, finally get the thing to break. And uh, they look in, and there's a lot more blood because of the fog, you know, with all the action going on inside the vehicle. So anyway, so they uh, finally make entry, start looking around, and... Uh, they find out that the blood is coming from the mail. So, call the ambulance, stuff like that, you know, get them to the hospital. So, after, uh, after, uh, fooling with the mail for a little while and trying to see if there's any further bleeding, they pull up the female. The female has got blood around her mouth. So, they're like, what in the fuck happened here? Okay. All right. So they get them both to the hospital. And, um, you know, they start asking the male, you know, this is sometime later. What happened? And as you can imagine, they, uh, you know, went to a nice secluded spot and go fool around. And uh, the female decided to uh, go down on the male, give him some happy pleasure well what happened was in the process of doing so the female had a grand mal seizure 
If you don't know what that is, that's the seizure that you kind of see where people are like shaking and foaming at the mouth kind of thing. Well, she had one of those while pleasuring her boyfriend. And in the process of pleasuring the boyfriend and she having a seizure, she, you know, bit, which you cannot control. And when she bit, she severed the male's penis into female's mouth. <laughs> so, um, needless to say, that's where all the blood was coming from. And, um, it turns out that it was a while before someone called to complain about the, uh, vehicle in the parking lot so the uh, the ability to reattach male subject was uh, kind of lost if you know what I mean so um, yeah go to that funny story with the uh, with the FedEx truck crashing into the uh, back of the car well, I'd rather crash and have it other than uh, go at it and catch a seizure and uh, kind of chew it off. Just my thought, but yeah. Funny story to share with you guys.